Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drop Hazard. Welcome to the video and welcome to my full guide here for trials on Zetsubo no Shima. This is going to be the first guide of many. There's going to be links all over the screen, or rather, annotations all over the screen. Probably not if you're one of the first people to actually view this video. Once the actual videos get up for the other guys, then they'll be popping up in annotations. But until then, they won't be up. I'm pretty much going to have a guide for everything on this map. It's a really fun map. You should definitely download it if you haven't already. And you're going to get guides for everything so you know how to do shit. But regardless of all that and me advertising for other videos, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like if it helped you out. If not, well, I tried my best. But let's get into it. The Trials Guide for Zetsubo no Shima. Okay, so once we're in the map, if you're on solo, grab the bucket and throw a grenade at the gobble gun machine. If you're on co-op, do not do anything. If you're on co-op, do not grab the bucket and do not throw a grenade at the gobble gun machine until you find out who has what challenges. But since I'm on solo, go ahead and do that and grab the bucket. Now from here, you pretty much want one person to get all of the points. So, since I'm playing solo, that'll be me. Da 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 da, yeah yeah yeah. Alright, so once you're down to one zombie left, which I have two. Alright, once you're down to one zombie left, not two, one. Go ahead and open this door to the right towards area... Uh, Lab B? Holy. Focus! There we go. Lab B. Open this door. Come back here. This is why you want to have one person get all the points. Have them open up this. Check out your challenges. I have water the same plant three times. Obtain a power up from a plant. And it is fruit grown from a plant. Now, I have been doing a lot of tracking for these plants and what the water gives you. For the one where you have to kill 15 plants or kill 15 zombies that are attracted to a plant, the best way to get that is to water it with blue water, purple water, then purple water, or blue water, blue water, purple water. Then that will spawn you in the plant that will attract zombies and take them out one by one. For the fruit, so far, which I do believe I have that, yeah, either fruit grow, grow, grow from a plant. So far what we have is watering with blue, purple, then green. And then we also have green, purple, then blue. Going with that, I'm assuming just watering it each round one time with a different color will give you the fruit. But the blue, purple, then green, and also green, purple, then blue, that is what we can confirm will give you a fruit. Now, it will be known that this fruit will give you a, uh, a perk, which is Deadshot. It will give you a Deadshot. So if you do not want Deadshot, make sure that you have your four perks before you grab the fruit. And that will cause you to throw up, which is actually a challenge. Let me bring it up. So if you're going for the challenge one too many, pretty much just make sure that you're maxed out on perks that you can't get any more. And then eat a fruit and then you will throw up because it's giving you dead shot. But because you already have enough perks, it's making you throw up because you had one too many. One too many perks. Can't You can't get the perk, so it's making you throw up. That's how you get that trophy. So once again, with the fruit, it'll give you a dead shot. If you want it, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, make sure that you have your four perks before you grab the fruit. And power up, that's pretty much just water it twice with any combination or if you want a really good power up blue 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 would be the best combination for that which I have blue so I can start on that and I also have to water the same plant three times there's also a thing for kill I think six or eight spiders with the spores the spores would be these things that spawn on the wall you got one right there they're all over the map uh, there's one that will spawn in right here. There's another one back here. For the spiders, pretty much just get a couple of spiders right in, right, right, blah, right next to the spore. Then shoot it, and the spore will actually kill the spiders. There's one for getting, I think it's 10 headshots. 
with an infected zombie. Once again, just make sure that this floor hasn't gotten too big. If it gets too big, it will cause him to mutate. Get a zombie next to it, shoot it, and then, it, then it'll have the orange dust or glow around it. And that's when you want to get the headshot on it for that challenge. There's also kill three of them while they are mutating. There might be one or three or something. I think it's three. Kill zombies while they are mutating. So for that, an easy way to force it is to have one that is big enough. I think it's like four rounds it has to grow. So you have one that's uh, that's ready to burst. Get a zombie next to it. Shoot it. He'll start to mutate. And once you see the vines coming out of the ground, that's when you want to kill it. I would recommend getting either the Haymaker, the Brecci, or the Marshall 16s. Those work really well on killing those. Once we get the bunker open, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Right there, that's what I'm talking about. Kill a Thrasher before it enrages, which is once he's up, and he is the Thrasher, which is the big wooden guy, kind of has these things around him. That is the Thrasher. You have to kill him before he enrages. Best thing for that is your Marshall 16s and pretty much just two shots him so you go bam bam and he's dead. Once you have the skull, which I'll show you how to get that open too, that will one shot the Thrasher also. I think there's also get a headshot on the Thrasher, which you will have a, a tiny head to shoot, shoot his head off before you kill him and then kill him once you have his head off. And sh shooting his head off will also enrage him, FYI. I think that's all the trials. I'm not quite sure. There might be a couple... Oh, the get five webbings by explosives. Pretty much, the spiders will cause a web on the crossing. So, so your grenade at the web or on the uh, the gobble gun machines. Each gobble gun, the person that you go through, will have a web on it. You throw your nade on it if you are the one with the challenge. Which is why I said it, if you're playing co-op, do not explode this right away. Make sure you are the one with the challenge before you, you, you go doing that. And I have a seed. Get starting on this blue. Thing. Red fingers, not green. Give me a power up, it'd be nice. Pretty much the opposite of what I wanted. Yep. And again, if you want my advice, whether you're solo or co-op, leave this door closed. It helps so much. Because they will not come down from there. They won't come from over here. Pretty much, you can just sit right here and have everybody line up shots. It's nice, nice little spot. And if you have the wonder weapon, just shoot the ground and then have them walk into it. Nice little easy spot. And going along with all the trial stuff, I might as well point out now, the bottom trial will get you a max ammo. The middle trial will get you a random gun. And the top trial will give you a perk bottle. It's not a random perk that you will get. It will actually open up a slot. So instead of having four perk slots that are available, you will have five. And going back to the fruit, if you have the one for the fruit, if you do not want dead shot, make sure you have all five slots filled and then get the fruit. You'll have that trophy as well, but there you go. Go ahead and get my free weapon. And I got the Birchy. Very good, very good. This is a uh, very good weapon on this map. So right here we go. We got our trials done. We're going to work on getting uh, this going. And since I have my upgraded guns, we can get the tooth. So I have this upgraded. And then we got to get the Pack-a-Punch. Or the Easter Egg going. You want me to lower it or go. keep it up here? Keep it up. Keep it up. Wait until I'm over there. Okay. When I'm inside the cage, when you got it. You failed. <laughs> I completed my trial. I don't know what I hit. <laughs> Randomly trying to dick with me, you got a trial done. GG. 
Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Bungie. Thank you, Bungie. Wrong game. <laughs> Don't matter. It's always Bungie's fault. Just tell me when I can kill him, because I'm going to try and get a spore-infected one. Yep, Thanks. go ahead. There we go. Headshot. <laughs> I aim for the head and I almost missed. You aim for his head and started shooting him in the dick. What the fuck? I'm not sure. I aim for the head, technically, then. Yeah.